up, I was a really bad kid. I was always in trouble and um, I got to go to timeout a lot. And so I thought the idea of having my sins forgiven sounded like a pretty good deal. Uh, so I accepted Christ as a child, but um, my communication with Christ growing up was more like customer service. I went to him when I had uh, something I wanted him to fix or something I wanted. So I knew Jesus loved me and I knew that he had died on the cross for my sins, but I really didn't see how it fit into, he fit into my, my daily life. And so by the time I was in high school, I was li living a pretty worldly lifestyle. I was uh, pretty rebellious towards my parents. I hung out with a lot of people who were doing drugs and drinking and I was involved in inappropriate relationships with guys. Um, so I was working really hard to maintain uh, this image of having it all together with my friends and on the inside I just felt like I was just lost and almost like I was dying and I just felt a lot of pain and I would even cut myself sometimes to try and make that pain go away. When I was a junior in high school my boyfriend Ren was killed in a car accident and then two months later my family moved from Georgia where we lived for 11 years to Louisiana. I just felt really alone. Um, I'd lost all my friends and then my parents were fighting a lot so the place where I had really found identity and security was gone. Um, I put my identity in my friends and in the things I was doing at school, extracurricular activities like track and um, student government and now, now that I didn't have those things I really didn't um, know who I was and I didn't really know who to turn to. Uh, I ended up trying to commit suicide and when that attempt failed I started to see a Christian counselor and she explained to me how I should be finding my identity in Christ and not in other people. Um, she began to disciple me and she showed me how God fit into every, my everyday life and my decisions and she showed me how God's word related to my life and how I could trust him and give up control. And um, from that point on, I just had this um, renewed passion for God and seeking Him. And um, that was 10 years ago. Um, and the years since then, have some have been filled with intense spiritual growth, and some have been, uh, you know, hindered by sin and spiritual laziness, and uh, just wanting to do things my own way. But God always calls me back. Most recently, uh, God has just really revealed to me through my friends and my small group in CR, just the pride and the fear that's really kept me in isolation all my life. Just, um, just trying to keep up that image of perfection and not letting anyone see what I was struggling with or asking for help. And um, it's just been so freeing being able to be honest with people, to um, be able to go to them and say, hey, I'm, I'm not perfect and I need help with this. I think that the, the best part about that is not only do they still accept me, but they've just been able to um, really encourage me in my walk and encourage me in my sh struggles and be there for me. So yeah, that's, that's about it. My name is Kari Buchanan and this is my Celebration of Grace.